In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a flower charm using the rainbow loom. I'm not sure exactly which flower it is. I would say it looks most like either a daisy or a lily. And you will want to have your loom set up in a staggered position so the pins are not in line with one another. And you want the arrows to be facing away from you. And you will need to choose your colors. So I have 15 green rubber bands that will be for the stem and the leaves. I have 24 white bands that will be the petals of the flower. And then I have 6 yellow bands which will be the center. So the first thing I'm going to place on the loom is the stem. And it's going to be in the center row. I'm going to start on the third pin in from the end. And for every band I place on it's going to be doubled. So it's going to be placed on my hook, twisted, and then put back on. It's going to go from that third pin up to the fourth. And I'm going to place the length of eight rubber bands going up the loom. So they're always doubled. And they're always just going to that next pin up. And also, as I'm placing them on the loom, I want to push them down to the bottom of the pin. So that way I have room to add any upper layers as I need to. So that's my sixth one. I need to do two more. And now on this last pin, I want to place a cap band. So in order to do that, I want to quadruple this band. I'm going to place it on my hook twist and put it back on, twist, put it back on, twist and put it back on. So you'll see four rubber bands on your hook. I'm going to place it right on top of this pin and it's going to be tight. If, you're fine, if you find that you're having a hard time to do that, you can just triple that band. And now I'm going to go back to the beginning with the arrows still facing away from me. And now I'm going to put the yellow rubber bands on and they're going to go in a circle around this pins at the end. Again, these are going to be doubled and I will start at the third pin from the end of the loom in the middle row and I will just work my way around in a clockwise direction just outlining this circle. Make sure that both bands make it on there. It does make it a little tougher when you're doubling the bands to put them on the loom, but it helps for whatever you're making to keep it shaped better. And again, I want to have all of this pushed to the bottom of that pin because we will be adding more. So now I'm going to start the petals and I will start on the left hand row on the very end pin. I'm going to place three rubber bands going up the loom. Again, they're all doubled. And now on this last pin, I am going to put a cap band. So I'm going to quadruple it. And now in the center row, I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to put three rubber bands going up the loom, just one right after the other.
and now I want to cap band on that last pin and now on the right hand row I'm going to go put three rubber bands Now I want a cap band on the end. And now I am going to turn my loom around so the arrows are facing towards me. And I'm going to loop the bands on this top layer that I just put on on all of the petals. So I'm going to push back on the top four bands, get them behind my hook, grabbing the next two bands here at the bottom, just moving them out and forward. Just going to work my way up. Now when you get to these upper pins, you have the yellow on the bottom. You're making sure not to grab any yellow, just the two white or whatever color you're working with. And now I want these bands to come off the pins everywhere except for the top. So I'm going to place my thumb over top of this pin. I'm going to release the bands. And then I want to move this out, angle it up towards the top. And now I'm going to loop the center row. Again, I'm pushing back on the top four bands getting those next two white bands. Make sure you're not hooking any green. And the same thing with these next pins. Make sure you're just getting the top two. And now again I'm going to place my thumb over top of this pin and release these bands. And now I want this to angle straight up. And now on the row to the right, just going to repeat that again. Again, make sure you're only getting the top bands. I'm placing my thumb and I will remove these bands that I looped. This time it's going to angle up and to the right. And so now I want to turn my loom around so the arrows are facing away from me. And now I'm going to repeat that same petal pattern on these next three bands on the other part of the circle. So I'll start on the left and I'm just going to place three rubber bands going up the loom. And then I'll put a cap band on the end. And now in this center row, I'm going to start right here where the stem started. It's going to be that third pin up from the end of the loom. Placing three rubber bands. And now I want a cap band. And now on the right hand row, I'm placing three rubber bands. Starting on this next pin, it's the second pin in from the end. And then finally, I should have one band left here for the cap band, at least one band left of white.
And now I'm going to turn the loom around so the arrows are facing towards me again. I'm going to loop the rest of these white bands. Just repeating that same thing, just getting the bottom two. And now I'm going to place my thumb on top of this pin and remove these bands I looped. This time it's going to angle out to the left and more pointing more downward. And now in the center here, you have to make sure you're not grabbing any of those lower green bands. Now I'm going to place my thumb and remove these rubber bands that I looped. I'm just going to angle this a little bit off to the side because I'm going to have to still work with these green bands. And now finally I'm going to do the right hand row. And now I'm going to place my thumb over top of this pin and remove these bands. These are going to angle out to the right and slightly down. And now I need to turn my loom around so the arrows are facing away from me. And I'm going to put the leaves on the stem. So I'm going to count to the fourth pin up from where the stem begins. So this would be the first pin, two, three, and four. And I'm going to place two rubber bands going up the loom. And now I'm going to place a cap band where I just left off here this last pin. And now I need to turn my loom around so I can loop those two bands. So the arrows are facing towards me. I'm pushing back on the top four. And I need to grab just those next two green. Make sure you're not grabbing that very bottom green bands. And now I'm going to place my thumb over top of this pin and get these two rubber bands off. And I'm going to put them out to the right. It's one of my leaves. And now I have to turn the loom around so the arrows are facing away from me. I'm going to actually from that leaf, I'm going to count two pins up. So I'm just skipping a pin. And again, I'm going to place two more rubber bands going up the loom. And now I want to place a cap band. And now I am going to turn the loom around. Arrows facing towards me. I'm going to loop these two bands for the other leaf. Again, it's this upper layer. And now I'm going to place my thumb on this pin and I want to remove these two bands I looped and this time that's going to go out to the left and now what I want to do is loop the stem so I'm going to start on the end here go down through the cap band just going to grab these bands and just keep working up the length of the stem now on this pin it's going to be full where the leaves are so you might have to push these bands down. 
And also, as you're going down through and pulling these up, it's going to be tighter since you have all those upper bands on. So just be careful. You may have to just wiggle it back and forth a little bit to loosen it up. You can also take your hook and just trace around this pin to make sure everything's nice and loose. And I'm just going to continue up here. And again, here's another one of the leaves, so it's going to be tighter. You don't want to have any of your bands snap when you're this far along. I'm going to loosen this. And I have one more here. And now what I need to do is loop the yellow rubber bands. So if you recall, when I placed the yellow bands on, I did it in a clockwise direction. So when we remove them, we're going to be doing it in a counterclockwise direction. So you're going to reach down through the center pin. It is very full and it has these four white bands on. You're going to push back on those and you want to grab hold of the top two yellow bands. It may be a little hard to separate them since this pin is so full. But you want to grab those top two yellow and carefully get them released and move them to the right. And as I said, we're just going to work around in a clockwise direction. You're pushing back on all of these upper bands and grabbing the bottom two. You're just going to follow that around. And now on this pin, it's going to be the toughest to grab because the yellow bands are actually wrapped around the back side of the pin. So when you reach your hook down in and push back on these upper bands, there's nothing for you to grab that's right in the middle. So you're going to actually have to push your hook out to the side and get a hold of these two yellow bands from the side. Then you can pull them out and move them down to the pin below. And now on this next pin, you're pushing back now you're grabbing these two bottom yellow and they are going to come back down to the center. And now the only thing we have left to do is to take this off of the loom, but we're also having to worry about all of the loose bands are going to be on this center pin. So what I'm going to do is put my thumb over top of this center pin where everything connects and I'm going to take it off of the loom, starting with the stem. And now again at the top here, I want to release all of these except for the middle. And they will be tight. If you want, you can actually use your hook to go down in through the middle. Just be careful not to put too much pressure on your hook. And so now I'm going to put my hook through the middle of this center pin. And I'm going to pull this off of the loom. And now you can see we have these two loose green bands on the one side. And what I want to happen is I want these two green bands to get pulled through the flower. So you can pull up on the flower to help yourself see an opening and just slide these two green bands full. You want to try to not get caught on any other bands. And so now what I'm going to do is take this last green band Get it on my hook. I'm carefully going to slide it through. And now I'm going to get the other end back on my hook. And I'm going to slide the end that's closest to the end of the hook through the other. And then I want to pull tightly on that to make a slip knot. That's going to be the loop. And then here is your flower. 
So you may have to play around with it a minute. Just adjust the petals. You want them to be as straight as possible and you want them to be evenly spaced. So you can just move them around how you think they should be. And then also with the stem, you want this to be as straight as possible and you can angle your leaves how you'd like. And then here is your flower. And I will show you another flower that I made using pink rubber bands. Now this was the first one I attempted and I didn't make the stem quite as long. This stem was only the length of six rubber bands whereas this one is eight. And then on the back I used black as, as the connector piece to make a loop to hang it. So I thought this was a good charm to make since Mother's Day is right around the corner. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to sign up to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!